I've got John Seamus uh, O'Farry with me here. John Seamus, uh, I'll not say congratulations too prematurely because I, I don't want to put the uh, the old uh, what's the right word for it, uh, kiss of death or whatever on you, but congratulations anyway because you're setting it up to be home and dry. Great uh, election for yourself and for the party. Yes, it's been absolutely fantastic. I stood here in 2009. A very disappointed man, my first time out, and I missed it by 150 votes. And I know the feeling some of the candidates are going through here today, but thank God we put in a hard canvas. And I must thank my election manager, uh, Alice Jackson. She's done a fabulous job in the last three months. Uh, kept me on tight rein, tight schedule, and we got on out in the doors and gave the Sinn Féin, Féin policies to the people. And Friday, the people spoke, and we know what they were speaking today when we see these votes being cast today. Uh, and the amount of uh, people and anger that are out there at the moment is unbelievable in, in the county. And the Sinn Féin vote is up all over, so the people want a left-wing party in government. And I feel in the next two years, come 2016, that Sinn Féin will have a big role in that government. I talk, spoke to Mary Trazier, obviously, and uh, she was a sitting councillor going back before the electorate uh, as well. How confident or otherwise were you and, and she that you could take two seats here? Well, we always knew that the, there was a good Republican vote in the Glenty selected area, and uh, it swallowed down to uh, good management on both sides, myself and my Therese, working together, and the same way that we're going to work in Donegal County Council together with the other elected councillors that Sinn Féin have in there at the moment. Yeah. Sinn Féin might be bringing as many as nine back, and amid this point, Mary Therese, that's going to give you a lot of responsibility in terms of how this council works, because there is a body of opinion, as you know, and you keep a close eye on what's going on, that the last council didn't really work because there was too much fragmentation, there was too much argument, there was too much party politics there. Yes, and my Therese is quite right there. Uh, she's been in the council now, this is the second term, third time into the council, and uh, there's huge issues to be addressed in this county, and it's about time the councillors, and forget party politics, to sit down and work for local communities in their area and get things organised, the infrastructure and employment, and uh, you know, to, to look at the overall picture instead sort of bickering about silly politics in the council and get on with the work. Yeah, because we can be our own worst enemies up here. I mean, we're all very proud Donegal people, but it would seem when it comes to certain issues that we allow politics to overtake us. And people in Dublin don't really care. And, and maybe on some, some occasions, they'd be very happy to see us arguing because it makes life easy for them. Well, as they say, Donegal, the forgotten county, we've seen it down through the years. And hopefully people are coming out now and they're looking at the big picture. Uh, the years to come. The huge immigration we have here in Donegal is unbelievable, phenomenal. Uh, the amount of young people that have left, and that's easily reflected on, on the polling boots around the area, the amount of people that haven't voted because they have immigrated. Yeah. You know. Sinn Féin are going to at least double the representation of the County Council in this new council setup. So, you know, everybody's going to be watching Sinn Féin and seeing how they perform in there. You're possibly going to have to amalgamate with somebody like Fianna Foyle on certain issues. There's going to be a lot of independence in there as well. But your party's going to be one of the bigger ones in there now, John Seamus. Yes, that'll be fantastic for Sinn Féin. Uh, it's been a long time coming and uh, hopefully we will succeed. We'll be in four or five years time come the next election will be assessed Charlie will be assessed how we've done the work how we've done the work because as been elected for the first time in the council the people will be giving me a chance to represent them for the next four years and when that term's up, they'll be assessing me and judging me by my performance in Donegal County Council. And as we've seen, when the people talk, they certainly can make a difference. The people, I, uh, I'm totally for people power because uh, you hear politicians come and I lost my seat. No seat belongs to a politician, it belongs to the people and I think that's very important that Sinn Féin stand behind the people and their issues. Congratulations on your election, John Shea. We look forward to a very productive five years for you in the Council's Chamber. Thank you very much. Good to meet you, Michael the Chairlady.